Hello, Darren from DCD Transporters. If you like our videos, please do consider subscribing to us and do hit that like button. We've got another cracker for you today. Let's have a quick tour around this T6. Awesome red, lovely little black details on it. ABT body kit, lowered, 20s, the works. It's a mega spec. Come join me and I'll give you a tour through. So let's start at the front of it. What an amazing looking van. I mean, that ABT body kit, looking really sweet on there. Bright red paintwork, gloss black features. It really is an amazing looking van. I mean, wow. Got Fiamma awning rail, or sorry, awning, uh, the F45. Lowered on Bilstein Comforts. Not set too low, just the sweet spot, I think, for these. Um, this is a four motion, so, yeah, it just drives and sits so nice. The trapezoid sidebars on here, looking really cool. I think we will agree that is one awesome looking van. Body kit really setting it off on this one. Let's take a look on the inside. Yeah, so as I said, let's take a look on the inside. This has got to be one of the highest spec vans that we've seen come out from the factory. This T6, four motion, 204. DSG is just got everything ticked. Let's take a look on the inside. Electric twin sliders, amazing. So this is our sort of more familiar setup that you might have seen us do before. So it's a U-shape, but this is the side pod U-shape. So it's two side pods that obviously form to make the U-shape. But this time we've made a little storage box to go in the middle of the side pods and that storage box is removable so you can um, obviously if you don't want it in the van you've got your awning set up you can put it in the awning and you've got another little storage box out there but obviously it does fit nicely in between the two side pods making that u-shape sort of configuration storage drawers throughout so we've used drawers on this one rather than the traditional cupboards i just think drawers could given a really nice option to get right down into the back of the cupboard without having to you know sort of try and get down leaning in seeing what's in there drawers are great for that so it pulls out all the way same as the top ones all the way so yeah they're real deep drawers there you go you might spot the wireless charger sitting up on the top domestic fridge reversed to suit the uk setup domestic microwave works on and off grid so we've got a big inverter set up with this one lithium battery power and everything and it's got a priority 240 system so it looks for the hookup if you've got hookup uh you're at a campsite and you use that then obviously it prioritizes the hookup but if it hasn't got hookup it then uses the inverter to power all your 250 sorry 240 volt so you've got your microwave and all your 240 sockets you know, available to you on and off grid, which is really nice. And that microwave, such a nice little touch there as well. Like I said, it's a campus specific one, so it doesn't rattle as you're driving along. It's lovely. So looking through the van, we've got suede lining in the back and the headliner. This is a sunroof model. So obviously the sunroof panel continues from the front to about halfway down the doors. So very, very nice fan shades in the Raven, again on the back on the tailgate. Nice oak table with a 360 eccentric uh, table leg. So giving you lots and lots of options as where you can sit that. So the two of you can sit very comfortably and uh, you can have more guests in there as well. And that table will move around uh, to enable you to do that and sit comfortably there. Yeah, what a nice space that is, fantastic. Let's go around to the back of the van. We can just about see the uh, chair pod nestled in the back there. So let's get that open. So coming around to the back of the van, I've just moved the buddy box out of the way. So this is our side pod setup. So it enables you to have full access through the van from the tailgate, obviously with the slide out drawer. Yeah, as we've seen in our demo van, that's capable of 
a nice twin burner, or well, capable of sitting a nice little twin burner cooker on there, Kadak Duo, something like that. And you've got a nice little pull out chopping board. That's there. Lots of storage underneath and in the cupboards. So yeah, really, really big drawer going all the way down there. Locking runners, so obviously if the van is at a little bit of an angle, the drawer won't want to make its way back into the van until you release the tab and then it'll slide back in. They're very heavy duty runners, so it'll take up to about 150 kilos, so there is no danger of whatever you're putting in there, you know, wanting to twist those. They're really nice sort of setup. So let's go around to the buddy box. So here is the little buddy box. We used to have one in an old bay window and it sat in between the driver and passenger seat. It was just an extra sort of storage area and then you could use it to get up into the pop top. Um, really handy little thing. So we just made it so it fits in between the two side pods. Got a nice little cushion that sits on the top of it. Let's pop that out of the way. And there it is here. So it's just a nice little storage box really. Just to put a few more knickknacks in when you're away camping. Obviously you can keep it in the van and it forms that U-shape. You can still use the U-shape and the bed without the buddy box in, so you don't need to worry about it if you put this in the awning. You can um, obviously do that and it's just an additional bit of storage just for some more bits and bobs. But then it does allow you, if you wanna leave it at home, you could then you know get more stuff in here, maybe you know inflatable kayaks, sups, you know, small bikes, that sort of thing will now fit down and inside the van uh, without having to worry about the restriction that maybe a U-shape would give you. So just a nice little uh, touch. And here we go. Look at that. I mean, that is just such a super space. You know, you're just going to get loads and loads of really comfy nights out in that. That's what this setup is the best at. It's just that super usable space from a social seating area to a big bed i don't think you can beat it which is why we're such big fans of it so there it is guys fantastic isn't it so what about that an amazing van i'm sure you'll agree and one that we've just really enjoyed building so thanks very much for watching do subscribe to us and hit that like button if you've enjoyed it and uh We'll look forward to showing you some more vans in the videos to come. Thanks very much. See you later.